Well, Stephen Lawson has weighed in on the Alistair Begg controversy. Stephen Lawson is one of the greatest expository preachers in North America. I just love listening to his sermons, and I love listening to his Bible studies at Herb's Coffee House. And he's a passionate man who loves the Lord. Here he's speaking on Luke 3, and he brings up this issue of Alistair Begg. Let's give him a listen. And this may be the right time for me to bring this up. There's been a lot of talk recently about whether a Christian should attend a homosexual marriage. And there's been a lot of talk recently about whether a Christian should attend a transgender wedding. And should they bring a gift to the wedding so that they would appear to be compassionate and loving? And I want you to know that the answer is absolutely no. You have no business being there because it is a travesty, it is a blasphemy, it is an abomination. It is not to be supported. It is not to be celebrated. It is to be repudiated. And it is to be exposed. And by attending, you are celebrating this union. And you cannot celebrate blatant, gross sin of the highest order. Adrian Rogers said years ago, and it needs to be heard again today, he's with the Lord now, it is better to be divided by truth than to be united by error. It is better to speak the truth that hurts and then heals than to speak falsehood that comforts but then kills. It is not love and it is not friendship if we fail to declare the whole counsel of God. It is better to be hated for telling the truth than to be loved for telling a lie. It is better to stand alone with the truth than to be wrong with the multitude. Let us not forget that marriage is not the product of culture or society. It is not the result of man's thinking. That it is God and God alone in His infinite wisdom who has designed marriage, and there is the sanctity of marriage entering into a holy union, and those who are unholy are to be reproved for entering into that which God has made holy. And so by even attending, much less even bringing a gift, you are giving your endorsement of approval of what is taking place. I wholeheartedly affirm everything that Steve Lawson has said there. Christians cannot affirm sin. Christians cannot affirm marriages that God has not blessed. And as the almost 20 years now that I've been a pastor, I've had to say no to weddings that were wrong. I had to say no to a Christian wanting to marry a non-Christian. And that created a lot of hatred and animosity towards me. I also had to deny a wedding where an individual was just marrying someone in Canada so that they could get easy citizenship. And that created people to dislike me as well. We need to stand firm in God's Word. Yes, love people. Love them like the Lord loves them. Care for them. Pray for them. Minister the Word of God to them. But we need to stand firm in God's Word. And we need to be unapologetic. Even when people say, you're being a Pharisee, you're being judgmental, it doesn't matter. Stand on the Word of God to the glory of God. Thanks for watching and God bless.